But let's move back to our policy for a second and head over to the APC. They don't seem to be too happy at the moment. Now, the APC has rejected what it described as doomsday prophecies by two British-based institutions about Nigeria's economy and the 2019 elections. Now, the APC position was contained in a statement by its national publicity secretary, that is Yakini Nabena, in Abuja yesterday. Now, the statement was the APC's response to reports by the Economist Intelligence Unit, the research units of the Economist, and a multinational banking and financial services company, the HSBC. Now, the Economist had in a report by the EIU predicted that the PDP would win the 2019 presidential elections. The HSBC also said that the second term of President Muhammadu Buhari would stunt the economy of the country. However, Nabena said the reports were nothing but the usual doomsday prophecies about Nigeria, which had seriously proved false, deceptive, and also unreliable. Now, in this situation, you're going to have people who are going to take sides. For example, you know, people who say, yes, we have told you that this government has failed, PDP, or those that don't like President Mohamed Buhari or the APC. SDP and ADC. A SDP and ADC, they also, you know, um, express themselves too with respect to this story. You're also going to have those that will come out and say, no, doomsday prophecy, APC, and, you know, Buharists, or those that are diehard fans of President Mohamed Buhari. But the truth is, like I always say, as Nigerians, it's important that we are holistic and logical in our reasoning. Facts are sacred. Let us make it factual and evidence-based. This is not from the PDP perspective or the APC perspective. Let me also tell you that we get validation. Mm, not we. Politicians get validation from these international organizations. You would recall that it was projected that Nigeria was not going to survive as a United States beyond 2015. And said if people used it now, that under good luck, Jonathan, oh, if we made another mistake, it was going to be trouble. Now, you have the APC coming out to say doomsday prophecy. You have the PDP coming out to say, Shebi, we told you. But the truth is, as Nigerians, when we talk about facts, let us look at the parameters or, in, or the indices available. Nigeria is now the capital of the world when you talk about extreme poverty. We are one-tenth the population of India, but we have an estimated 87 million Nigerians that are living in extreme poverty of our population of 198. Unemployment is rife. There is a lot of instability. People do not even have the economic might to take control of their lives. See, what we must do as Nigerians is to look beyond the argument for or against by the PDP or the APC or the AD, SDP and the ADP. What we must do as Nigerians is to realize that, see, it is easy for politicians to crisscross political parties. Automatically, we saw people move from the PDP to the APC, and now some of them have co gone back to the PDP, and they are saying, we made a terrible mistake, we must change the mistake, we must do all of this. What Nigerians must do is hold government to task. Get the government to be responsible and get the political class to act in the best interest of the Nigerian people. These are state actors that are not concerned about anything that happens in Nigeria. What they do is, from their observation, they come to a conclusion. But we live with these issues and deal with them firsthand. As Nigerians, are we going to come out to say that there is no unemployment? Are we going to say that Nigerians are not living in extreme poverty? Are we going to say that there's, there's not a lot of waste in government? But what are the indices on which the um, EIU and HSBC actually predicted this outcome? Nigeria is now the poverty capital of the world. Okay, so it's based on human development and sustainable development. And what has resulted in that? As a result of the fact that you have people who have no understanding of Nigeria's economy, the truth is, it is not by being verbose or you know, grammar, rhetoric. It's about rolling up your sleeves and getting to work. Quick question. How reliable are reports at this point in time coming from a country where in the 2015 elections basically held the responsibility of the Cambridge Analytica? Now, you know I told you that when you look at the argument for or against and look at the actors that have come out to say from what we have observed, it is always important to be Nigeria-centric in our analysis. Now, they might have their interest, which they always do. Mm. The argument for interest, the argument against interest. But at the end of the day, it is the Nigerian that has to contend with all of this. Cambridge Analytica and all those issues. Like I said, if you present yourself, you, if you place yourself at a disadvantage, people who want to exploit you are going to exploit you. All right. What we must do as Nigerians is to say, please, APC, stop this, your argument, trying to defend, you know, the indefensible. 
PDP, stop stressing yourself because you are also responsible for the issues you have to deal what with. What we should do at the end of the day is to try and ensure that we have our politicians or our leaders ensure that Nigeria is moved to a point where we can disappoint the statistics that have been put out. Not to take it as, oh, they're trying to tarnish our reputation. We already have bad statistics at hand. We already have highest number of poor people in the world, 87 million in Nigeria. And it's increasing every six hours. And people would argue with you and tell you that when you look at these statistics, they do not really... You know, tell the true picture. Why? Not... Because it doesn't even really cover exactly. The situation. We have about eighty percent of Nigerians living beyond, uh, below less than you know, below two dollars a day, and we're saying that we're not. We're we're, we're now saying that the statistics are wrong. So Yekini Nabena, acting spokesperson of the APC, Kolaolo Bodinyo, acting. I'm uh, sorry, spokesperson of the PDP, should save us the stress of trading, you know, insults or saying disregard them. All right, And please. get to work in the best interest of Nigeria. Speaking of that, sorry, there are, there are PDP states. All right. That please. that you are trying to tell us that you see Nigerians have rejected the APC when we come into your what have you what has the political class even done for Nigeria? To enjoy more of this our go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.